All right, I'm in the exhibitor hall, but today I'm going to be looking at some of the competition vehicles. Now, I think a lot of them are still opened up, and, you know, hopefully I can get through this without hearing too many demo songs that, that block my video. Uh, but there's a lot of guys here competing. Most of them are in the SQ competition. Uh, they have their vehicles open, so it's that's really awesome that you can actually get inside and look at them. And a lot of times the competitors are there to actually talk about their install. Most of these people are really proud of what they've done. They want you to listen to their systems. They want to demo, demo it for you. Um, you know, they want to tell you about all of the unique concepts that they've implemented. Uh, and, you know, there's never really a problem over here with uh, things like theft or vandalism or anything as you can see I mean these vehicles are just totally open that people aren't even here earlier today this competitor actually turned on those lights they were the they were the brightest thing I've ever seen like a flash bulb I definitely want to get some of those for my pickup and uh, that would help me at night for sure so anyway, let's just get through this and see how many of these cars we can see. This install's got Zapco amplifiers. Don't see a lot of Zapco in the US anymore, but it's still really strong over here in Europe. Daniel Winstrom. And another thing you'll notice, most of the competitors, in fact, all of the, the competitors that are participating in the uh, competition, they have notebooks and these notebooks you know, show the system diagram. Some of them have photos showing the uh, fabrication and construction. Here's an example right here. You can see this is showing the electrical wiring diagram and uh, how, it, you know, power is distributed to the amplifiers. And then this picture right here is showing the signal distribution this and the speaker configuration for the car. Here's another example. Let's see what he's got in here. Phoenix Gold Amplifiers. And look at how nice the wiring is in this installation. I really love it. It's, you know, I like the symmetry. The wires are all elevated. There's no bends, there's no curves. Super clean, super nice. It's all underneath plexiglass and then there's backlit illumination so you can actually see what's going on. So this is the kind of thing I really love. And uh, you know, you can tell a lot of work goes into doing this kind of thing. It has a nice podium. And this podium has a video display that is actually showing the fabrication of the vehicle. So right now it's showing the subwoofer assembly and then some of the way the speakers are being mounted. Hey guys, how's it going? And this is the back of a van. And, you know, the amplifiers are mounted under, again, under plexiglass. And I've mentioned this earlier, we're seeing a lot more of this where the insides of the amplifiers are on display. And I think that's cool. I guess these are some of the interconnects, the power cabling and the uh, audio cables that he's using in his system. So he's got this all on display. Now, they, the reason that they do this, I mean, it's not just a show people like me the spectator but the judges need to know what went into the installation of these vehicles and how things are connected so it's part of the officiating to actually get over and they get points for this see this is what i'm talking about ask for demo they want to show off their cars. I mean, you know, when you build a car stereo system, of course, you're wanting to make something for yourself to enjoy. But a lot of it, you know, is you want to show other people and and give other people that experience as well. And so this is one of the way they, ways they do it.
Oh, this is cool. This is super cool. He's got his sub in the in the rear trunk of the vehicle. Team Random. And he's got all of his diagrams down here on display. I just really like the way, uh, you know, he's got the sub and it's illuminated and the amplifiers are illuminated. It looks like these are Helix branded amps. You can see the capacitors in there. So the electrical system's on display. Super clean installation. Hopefully the music doesn't get us blocked on YouTube. Uh, here's another Team Random car. So it looks like all of these vehicles parked right in this row right here are all part of the same team. They travel to shows together. They compete as a team. It makes it a lot more fun. This competitor is also using Helix amps. Uh, and he's got his caps in the side and, and the subwoofer on display as well. You can see all the various components that were used. I mean, just putting together this little display takes some effort. He's got fuses. Uh, you know, it's got, an, I don't know what he's using, a Nutrix competitor, uh, connector for, I guess, for his speakers. And then all of the power cabling and interconnects. And look at the thickness of his notebook. There must be a hundred pages there uh, in this notebook that talks about, you can see everything from the wiring diagram, sound damping, uh, just it's uh, the attention to detail, photographs of the uh, fabrication, how things are connected. These are, these are just invaluable. And, and you know, I know it doesn't mean a lot maybe right now, but in the future, 10 years from now or 20 years from now, this is going to be a real momentum, a memento for the competitor to see what he did. Wow, another beautiful install. The thing about the cars in Europe, all of these vehicles are daily drivers. The competitors have to be very, very careful about making any modifications to the vehicle that could affect the structural integrity of the car because in Europe, the law is really, really strict. If you do something that changes uh, the safety of the vehicle, then the vehicle is no longer street legal. And if you get pulled over, if the police officer sees that a change like that's been made, then you can really get a ticket. And it looks like this competitor has won a trophy. I'm sure he's won more than one trophy, but uh, he's proud of this one because he has it on display. Let's see if there's something up front we can take a look at. Hey. He's got it open and I don't want to get in there too much. This is probably one of the best parts of these competitions. Hey everybody, is uh, sitting around the mini keg. Tailgating. Hey. I like this. Uh, you know these electronic displays you know they are really vibrant and you don't have to flick through the book the other thing that's cool about it is you know it's easy to update so and these are real photos not just illustrations so I don't know if you can really see this but it's it really gives you an idea of what was you know what was happening when they did the installation now remember a lot of times these things when you make when you do something in an install some of the most difficult work is actually hidden from view and these displays and the notebooks and the diagrams they all actually will show you what was going on even though you can't see it you know what happened and what was hidden from sight Another big Zapco amplifier, and I don't know what kind of sub that is, but I'm sure it's on one of the diagrams here. Um, we've got some sub components on display. And this is really awesome. Check this out. More Zapco amps, and I, I really like the way the subs are mounted behind the rear seat. Uh, he's got his signal processor there. The amp. He's got one amp down where the 
spare tire used to be and then a couple more amps on either side. You know, the LED lighting has been a real game changer. Uh, I see the LED lighting everywhere, not not just for illumination, but also it adds some activity. And I don't know if you can tell from this, but the color of the lighting is actually changing. So he's got it cycling. These vehicles are not open, so I'm going to hurry on down the road to the next section you got to get it while the getting's good this this car has an awesome install now it's closed up right now it looks like they're doing demos so they probably have people inside listening that's a beautiful mercedes belongs in my garage hey how's it going yeah, I'm I'm from Texas. I can tell. So, Texas is a whole nother country. How, how did you make it? I came through Munich. So, but I'm gonna do a quick video and I'll catch it. Good luck this weekend. Come back. I will. You let me hear it. So he promised to let me listen if I come back. You know, I definitely. I don't have a Texas accent like in the old days. But I talk slow, because in Texas, we talk slow. Now, my wife, she's from Wisconsin, and I can barely keep up. You have UK representation. And looks like some of the cars over here, you know, this is the thing. This is where we're headed right now getting that last drop of golden nectar out of the keg. We're reaching that part of the show where it's about to be party time. So the competitor party uh, starts at 8 o'clock. It's about almost 6 o'clock right now. Everybody's getting psyched up. Hi. Now, there's a lot of cars over here. I just don't know where the people are. Uh, they just, uh, right now, they must be doing something. Because earlier today, everyone was standing around their vehicles. Right now, uh, they have everything open and on exhibit. But uh, they must be in a meeting or watching some kind of competition. This is really nice. Uh, it's not illuminated, but I'm sure it does have illumination. But they've got a piece of plexiglass. I don't know if you can see this, but there's ventilation holes, hexagonal uh, ventilation holes perfed inside of the plexiglass to allow for cooling. It probably even has forced air ventilation. That'd be my guess. I don't see any fans, but uh, my guess is that it is, you know, that you would need some kind of fan to uh, circulate the air through that cavity. All right, so in the back of the hall here, uh, I don't know. I haven't actually been over here. Uh, oh, yeah, here we go. More Helix product. You can see that a lot of the install, there are some similarities. Uh, there seems to be a real trend where the product is mounted on a substrate and then covered with a plexiglass protective cover uh, and then illuminated with LEDs. But the actual implementation from vehicle to vehicle is different. And that's what makes it so interesting is the creativity. The competitors actually come up with this really unique implementation. And then they, uh, you know, you can't really tell, but this is a, a snakeskin uh, trim plate on the outside. And here's another nice looking install. And the competitors are actually here. No music. No, 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 YouTube, no, 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 YouTube. No, no, no. Okay, yeah, show me. So this, oh, here we go. This is cool. So he uses a key fob to open this up. 
And this provides access to all the interconnects, the electrical system, the signal processors. I'll see if I can get in there so you can actually see what's going on. He's got an actuator. You see that little actuator right there? Uh, it's controlled with a key fob. And uh, so this is, this is the business end of the installation. And you know, it, it, by making it motorized, that's just uh, real clever, requires a lot of extra effort. And I'm sure he gets bonus points for doing that. Thank you. Box aluminum. Uh, aluminum box. So in the door panels, uh, there's aluminum enclosures. Uh, it looks like a vent. There's a vent right here. Yeah, I don't know if you can see, but it's radius like an aeroport that re reduces the vent, the port air turbulence significantly and also increase, increases the performance of the box. Thank you for your time. Oh, more. See, this is what I'm talking about. The competitors like to show off their installs. What you got there? This is a, a change. the battery charger. It's got the battery charger in the engine compartment. And uh, he, he can connect the power using uh, a plug right on the grill. So he doesn't even have to have any cables or anything draped outside the car. He can just plug it right in. And then this is uh, so the battery showing his electrical charge. Okay, thanks guys. Good luck this weekend. And I know I'm just rushing through this, but uh, hey, hey, how's it going? Fine. Oh, look at this. Look at this. This is how we do it. <laughs> is this how we do it? Yes, definitely. Like always. Well, thanks, guys. I'm just doing a quick video. And I'll see you tonight. Class A. That's something you don't see ever. Is class and mostly everything now is some kind of hybrid like or class D amplifier. Class A is a total sound quality amplifier. Uh, but of course one of the the drawbacks to a class A amp is it's consuming like maximum power all the time. So it's not very efficient but doesn't have the crossover distortion the switching power supply issues that uh that can cause distortion and noise hey how's no, it going just remove now okay no we just close it at the moment okay i will come back i will be back tomorrow, tomorrow. yes tomorrow okay. thank you so they just closed it up and that's why i'm hurrying because um it's six o'clock here people are about to go back to the hotel and get ready for the party and we have so much to see and so little time to do it. It's like a car show. It's the attention to detail. This, it's the little things that, uh, that the competitors are doing, you know, to get those extra points and to stand out from the rest of the crowd. You know, once somebody has a good idea, everybody tends to adapt and adopt that idea. Um, but there's only one person that's first, and that's the goal. Who can do it first? Now, this is a super cool car. I don't really know anything about it. its I'd never even heard of this car. It's called a KTM. And at first when I saw it, I thought it was a kit car uh, because it's so cool looking. And... Um, and, and you know I started looking and it looked at first I thought it was a wrap but it has this carbon fiber finish and then I was talking to some people here at the show and they said no it's really the whole car is made out of carbon fiber so that means it's super light and when you put a big engine in a light car it causes a lot of problems for traction but if you see that wing back there I mean not only does it look awesome super cool looking but I'm sure it's functional and necessary in order to give you the downward force needed to maintain traction. One of the things I really like, think's cool about this car too, is it has this canopy uh, that pops open. So it reminds me of a like a fighter jet, something you'd see on Top Gun. You know the fighter jet, the fighter jet canopy, 
Um, and I like, you know, the, the bucket seats. I mean, it's just super cool, high tech. I don't even know if it has a stereo system in it. I'm sure it has a stereo, but I haven't seen anybody here for the entire show. And, I, and it hasn't been on, but it's just super cool looking car. I thought at first it was a kit car, but they told me it's not. So, again, we have some stuff here. Now this, this guy here, the passenger seat, I've known him since the early 90s. And he, I haven't, he wants me to listen to his car. Everybody says that this vehicle is the standard against which all other cars are judged. And, and so I'm saving it for the last. Saving the best for last. 